I know this is not your commentary debut because you do some snooker, don't you, for Eurosport Spanish language? Yeah, I commented in Spain, in, in Spanish, of course. Yeah, two ball, right? Oh, he make it? Wow. Wait, like every time. And now, three ball. Oh, it's gonna play safety. I'll tell you who he reminds me of a little. Wow, nice shot, but he loses the key ball. I'm gonna play bank. Oh, he play fast as well. Yeah, good shot. Oh, he missed. Nafius so fast. He has so much confidence. Yeah, pool. Good shot. I'm gonna play three rail out. That's. I think you were gonna say terrible, and you pulled back. <laughs> this four-inch pocket, this tight pocket. If you play hard, you can miss the ball. You can see Jeffrey. He doesn't think so much. Instinctively, that always tells me that he's quite nervous. He's trying to cover up the fact he is nervous, but what a terrible eight ball that is again. Wow, so hard. Oh, wow. And the last error is committed by Jeffrey Ignacio. And in an all Vietnamese clash, Luong Duc Tien. 7-4 up on for Wong Nam Pham. Ashing tournament, the World Cup of pool and we're led to believe it's going to return next year, so yeah. I, for one, can't wait. Yeah, to be honest, I can't wait because it's one of my favorite tournaments so far. When we won. Wow. Wow. Jeffrey yeah, Mills again.
Yeah, it was a good safety. Yeah, you can see Jeffy don't don't stay so much time. That's a good shot. Wow. This much better. Jeffrey Ignacio might well have his hands full. He's 2 0 down. A few months later, then we won World Cup pool, US, US Open, uh, Volleyball. And I think that was the case with you as well. It yeah. wasn't a matter of being satisfied with big titles. You wanted more and more and more, and you still do. Going for pretty much everything. Jeffrey Ignacio, this is a man, of course, who got to the quarterfinals of the World Championship in Saudi Arabia this year. I think he played better than his opponent. He's going to play three rail with the cue ball, but wow, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. Wow. After so much bad, that was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, he's back. And that could be the spark he needs. And make it a really good spirit there. Good. Another rack quickly goes.
Windang Tuen, 6-2 up on Ahmed Torfik. And James Aranas, 7-3 over Do Van Kai. Jonas Suto Camino has beaten Fatim Haradinaj, 9-3. over a gentleman called Ben Grady. That has gone wrong. Decent hit, hit it full ball. That's gonna leave some distance. before losing in winner's qualification, 9-4 to Italy's Francesco Candela. Apparently Jeremy Jones is on his way back to the venue. He's been out doing some filming with the GOAT, Efren Reyes. He played that one. Yeah, it was a good shot. In both of the racks, he's won. Jeffrey Ignacio is part of the last two balls. Seven, six for Antonius Kokoris against Kunihiko Takahashi. This is what we call unmissable. And a certain player, and I'll see if you agree. All square, 3-3. Three, three. Butterflies. The guy broke off. He made a 70-odd break. The guy conceded the frame. got annoyed about missing a ball and conceded when they're in front. That shows you the talent Ignacio has. Because when he won the third rack, his first of the match, he knocked in an absolutely blockbusting eight ball. Came round off multiple cushions. Arrived in this round with a 9-4 win over Lynn. I think Ignacio is one of those players. The diff oh. 
And just like that, Jeffrey Ignacio turns a 3 1 deficit. Victor Zielinski now trails Max Eberle only 8-7. Can Zielinski keep his tournament alive? Watch out, nine ball. Could fluke this though. If you hit it pretty full, this could go in corner pockets. Oh, look at this shot. He also played one shot where he potted the eight and was very poor with his position. We can tell you officially this is our closing match of the day. And then try and contact the nine. That may slide down the rail and go in. Jeffrey Ignacio's ingenuity. Predicted by the genius that is Carl Boys. So I think that's one of his secret weapons, actually, Ignacio. He's so nonchalant. It's as though he doesn't really care. But we all know he does. Than other players, and he's obviously a very good sh shot maker. We've just seen that. He's got a very good break. Hairs on the soft side. But he pots the one a lot. but you don't achieve what he's achieved in the game without the good outweighing the bad. Cute power.
on the threshold of taking a 7-3 lead and winning half a dozen racks. In it goes. And we all get Nicholas Tan. Here comes the push out. That is completely legal. He's got him locked. And at these major World Nine Ball Tour ranking events, day four, I think is one of the best days. It is the entire last 64 and five cracking matches to bring you on this main table. Can't tell you what the matches are because we don't know the draw yet. It won't be made until the conclusion of play this evening. But you know, one thing is guaranteed, it always churns out some spicy encounters. Looks like Ignacio's name will be in the hat. And he'll be a player that people will want to avoid. Yes, a struggling Jeffrey Ignacio is vulnerable, but one who's on a... Here, the beat carries on to Tong, 4-4, and Chen Chengju on the hill against Win Bui Trung at 8-4. There's a chance here. Oh, what a beautiful pot. Played it with left English to get round the back of the pink fourth. And so is that. What a fluke. And you know, in around half an hour's time, will Jeffrey Ignacio regret that? There's no room for guilt. Yeah, bags and bags 
of talent. As in all the balls are there. I can assure you. Make sure you take them. Because this game has a knack of coming back to get you. Oh, but... Ignacio has missed one nine ball for victory. Can't imagine this one. Indeed not. Jeffrey Ignacio defeats Din Thanchung 